That looks like pancakes. Yeah, it does. It looks like a roast of some sort. I don't even know what that looks like. Mystery meat. Looks like shrimp cocktail, a hamburger with some fries, some spare ribs. Miserable knave, scheming to steal my throne and my sister, you disgust me. You could have lived the rest of your pitiful life in peace as just another nameless prisoner, but no! You rise again to shame me, and for this I must make you suffer. None, none, Monsieur Impostor. You misunderstand. To be the prince means to be the brother of Pitev, and such a sister I would never wish upon my most hated enemy. <laughs> to be truthful, I feel perhaps a little sorry for you. Told you. His Royal Majesty, the King, and Her Royal Highness, Prince Pitev. Judging again, the king would like to make an announcement. I wish each of you luck, good sirs. May the best man win. Wow. Yeah, I'm a bit indisposed at the moment. He spilled gin and tonic on my USB reader and my thumb drive. They'll be fine. They didn't get any. Mm. Now I have nothing left. That in gave class. me a chill. Father's being abnormally coherent. I have a bad feeling about this. Alright, I got a mess to clean up. We'll be back in a second. Alright, and we're back. <laughs> <laughs> the judging will proceed as follows. The king, Princess Patep, and I will judge the dishes presented by the competitors by whatever criteria we deem relevant. Wow. <laughs> the victor must be chosen by... a by majority vote, selected by two out of three judges. Let the tasting begin! Shall we begin, princess? Please do. The king and princess will conduct their judging from the balcony. How can they eat up there? Let us start with Prince Depetta's dishes. I guess the blue one? Yeah. I believe you will enjoy that after what I have prepared for you. We will begin with the worm... Pepperoncini. Pepperoncini. Continue to my special stir-fried cockroaches. And finally, we shall arrive at that most famed of famous delicacies, the fly pudding. Bon appetit. Mmm, this is exquisite. The texture of the worm combined with just a hint of garlic. Everything blends together perf just perfectly. Oh, that dude is totally working for the prince. The, the fake one. You fried this roach in its own oils, I see. Hmm. It's nice and crispy on the outside, but still moist and sweet on the inside. Excellent. Simply excellent. Hmm? What's this? Oh, ah ha ha. This is blue bottle fly you have here. Wonderful. Yeah, I got green bottle, bitch. You've prepared quite a feast for a duel against such a trifling opponent. The sprinkling of maggots in the pudding made the perfect complement to your use of Blue Bottle. A virtuoso performance. Now on to your opponent. He's totally gonna... Uh. For this competition, I've prepared the worm caramel, my cockroach salad with wild onions, and, but of course, the, fl the famous fly pudding. Flamous? Bon appetit, my dear mentor. I hope I have done justice to your art. Oh, I, I'm afraid you must be mistaken. I don't recall ever teaching someone like you how to cook. Ahem. <laughs> Clearly lying. Because he's a dick. Now, let's move on to the judging. Let's start with the worm dish. Hmm. Oh, this worm meat. Where did you find such a grand thing? This must have come from a giant. The taste is... Ah, uh, er... <clears throat> unfortunately, rather bland. Worm meat like this doesn't cook well with normal methods. This is like shoe leather. Why? Yeah. Hmm? This roach you've used. Oh, this is a splendid vintage. Haha. <laughs> Fort Note, five years old, and free range at that. This is, this is splendid. Amazing. I can't believe my, or, I mean, I'm afraid I have to deduct points for use of wild onion. The combination just doesn't work, see? Where I come from, you cook roach with leeks, not onions. It's an amateur mistake. And last but not least, we come to the fly pudding. Hmm? Sweat drops. Oh, 
pinch me, I must be dreaming. Oh. Oh, I guess that's him eating. Is something the matter, sir, chef? Ah, uh, no, there's nothing. I mean, the dish is nothing special. There's some good fly in there, but it hasn't been used to its full potential. Really, a disappointing waste here. There's no question about it. Prince Stepetta's cooking is superior on all counts. I give this duel to him. You dick. I thought it was up to those two as well. There is. Objection! Phoenix Wright, Phoenix. on the scene. <laughs> you may be able to dismiss the first two on minor technical flaws, but I refuse to believe you dismiss the third so easily. There's no way that you, the head chef, could simply ignore the use of the fabled green bottle. Er, uh, I can explain. It is obvious that this competition is nothing more than a sham. Judging has been compromised by this so-called prince. Therefore, I demand that my real brother be recognized as the rightful winner by default. I hereby declare Prince Tepeta to be the victor of the duel. Which one? The man standing on your left, of course. Don't you recognize your own brother? <laughs> ah, yes. But if you sus suspect foul play on his part, surely you would be satisfied if the other cooks judged as well. This is ridiculous. Isn't it? Miserable, absolutely disgusting. Miserable, absolutely disgusting. Mmm. Or I mean miserable, absolutely delicious. I mean disgusting. The entire kitchen staff has been tainted then. Lynn, I know I can trust you. Taste my brother's cooking. Oh. You can prove who's the best beyond a shadow of a doubt. Hmm, bring food. <laughs> That's Lynn. She's uh, probably not going to agree with this cooking. Lynn eats one of the dishes. It's not terrible, but Lynn feels a little queasy. Lynn eats another dish. Something heaves in Lynn's stomach. Lynn manages to ignore it. Lynn eats the last dish. Lynn thinks back to collecting the ingredients for Tepeta. Lynn suddenly remembers the dishes were made with warm roach and fly meat. <laughs> Lynn throws up. Quite. Damn it, Lynn. Why the hell did you have to go and do that? Go and screwed us all to the wall. If the bastard funny takes over, who knows what he'll do to everyone. They'll kill us, that's what he said. Well, if none of you have the guts to do anything about it, maybe it's time I stepped up to the plate. Is that supposed to be a joke? Yeah. You hear me, you two-bit fake? I'm gonna blow this castle at all hell and take everybody with it. Including you. What's this itch? Oh, good lord. Oh, no, 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 my little adversary. I have fought too hard for this castle to lose. It to the likes of you. Oh, it's the other dude. None! That foul villain is after my sister. Yes, let's go, uh, do something. I'm sorry for letting that fraud get to me. He said he'd murder my entire family if I didn't vote against Depeta. But that's not important now. Teps forced that bastard's hand, and now everyone's lives are in danger. I can't make up for what I've done, but please, you must protect the prince, the princess, and our kingdom. Do I have to? I hate this place. A lot. Like, you would not believe how much I dislike this place. To the point where I'm never, ever coming back. Can I use this now? Yes, I can. Hey, look. Bathroom elevator. Hmm. And now we can finally go over here. Ugh. Patep, she went in there. Oh. You wuss little frog. Oh, look, she's kind of... So, this is the heart of my castle. Tremendifi. I can feel such tremendous power in this place. It seems the girl was not lying. Hehe, <laughs> stupid girl. She thought she could call my bluff. But here I am, holding all the cards. This must be the castle's self-destruct mechanism. What a wonderful toy. 
Really? Self-destruct mechanism? Why? Castle. Why have they... Why were they ever invented? I've worked hard to steal this country. I'm not about to let one little girl and her army of misfits ruin my plans. It looks like it's time I introduce myself properly to you all. You may call me Quadra. Quadra? I have to give you some credit. If you hadn't interfered, this girl would never have shown me where to find this device. Let me reward you. As the prince, I would have made your execution slow and painful. But here, I can make it quick. Quadra? Don't remember what his original name is, but good god. Look at that. He's got like wow. rattlesnake tails and we are completely boned, aren't we? And yeah, Frost Dragon, because I use it way too much. And let's hope this goes well. That's slow. 